Odyssey and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought of doing something a little different. She's a Mona Lisa. Okay, so we cannot travel to Korea because of this pandemic, but a little gastronomical adventure is always a great idea. Now, this is the first time I'll be sharing my life as a Satisfinder. Back in the Philippines, I am part of a global community who shares feedback based on my experience as it helps the business grow or improve their service, train their employees, and recognize staff who really go beyond the extra mile of the service. I wanted to continue that journey here in Germany and I thought of taking you with me just to uh, give you a glimpse of my life as a Satisfinder or more like an undercover. <laughs> okay, so just a disclaimer, this would be a general review, not specifically about food. It's more like of a overall customer satisfaction or customer service experience. Satisfine created the Trust Experience Survey to help business understand what customers really need. The review will be based on safety, sales competency, service, as well as overall satisfaction. Now, the detailed review will be by the end of this video. So if you're interested, go on a date with me. satisfaction you know the feeling that you cannot move because your heart your tummy is full <sighs> that was the feeling that we got after we left the restaurant our hearts and tummy are full so thank you soul 1988 we really had a great experience okay back to the room so let's talk about safety now we all know that all stores and restaurants have been greatly affected by this pandemic the main intention of this video is to realize the importance of what we can do as customers to help business in our own communities stay in business. As mandated here in Germany, restaurants already started opening with strict compliance to safety protocols or measures against Corona. Reservation is a must to anticipate the number of people at a particular time. Now, we booked our appointment through phone call and we provided our details as requested. Guests sitting inside the restaurant have to present negative corona tests. On the other hand, guests sitting outside the restaurant don't have to, but there are numerous ten there are numerous test centers where you can just either book an appointment or do walk in, so I suggest to do it beforehand. Now, since me and my friends are fully vaccinated, we just presented our vaccine form and we were welcomed with a smile after. Alcohol is accessible at the entrance or disinfection spray, but you also have to use Luca app as part of our contact tracing here as mandated by law. Staff or waiters all wear FP Pits Vi mask. So next is service. I was satisfied on how we were treated from the time we entered the restaurant up until we left. Now, not many realize this, but in making customers feel safer through safety guidelines, there is a risk that service might be compromised. Now, I'm glad that was not the case with Seoul 1988. In spite of them following the standard safety measures, they were attentive, warm, friendly, and checked on us throughout our stay in their restaurant. Next, sales competency. Did I pronounce it right? Anyway, so since I'm new to Germany, the staff is friendly enough to recommend the best-selling items that they have on their menu. 
So she was enthusiastic, very friendly, and made small talk and walk us through their food and drink selection and ask us if we want anything in particular, like if, if we want it spicy or not. Now, I wanted to enumerate to the things I like the most and things I like the least. Number one, the service was literally fast. Like two minutes after we ordered, our drinks and side dishes were already served. Second, now all throughout our stay, we were asked if everything is fine. And by the time that we asked for the receipt, one of the waitress asked if we were satisfied with the food that we ate. I really like that because this gives the message that restaurants um, find ways on how to improve their service and that our feedback as customers really matter. Third, that Korean vibe. So the restaurant might be small, but it was pleasing. They're playing Korean music. They have projectors if you're interested to watch K-pop videos. Walls are properly decorated and they have um, Korean games too for entertainment. Next, the food serving is huge. Now, out of all the foods that we eat, you must try the chicken. It's a bomb. What do you like the least? Now, although the intensity of the food is there, I do think that the restaurant adjusted some of their food based on the local's palate or German's um, taste bud, if you know what I mean. Anyway, um, for example, I know kimchi is usually sour and spicy, but not how I tasted it here. Or like this dolsot bibimbap. I have tried a bibimbap before where it's flavorful, savory with a blend of sweet and spice from gojujang sauce, but, but not how I tasted it here. Though I appreciate that they have provided sauces so you can season it to your liking. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Now, I wanted to take this opportunity to say that your voice as a customer matters. Feedback is an opportunity to grow. Give compliments or credit when it's due. If there's an opportunity in satisfying, we share our feedback confidentially. Those are action items that are insightful and actionable. If you're interested, you are most welcome to join the team. And thank you so much for watching. Until our next food adventure. Or more like... Or more like... Or more like going undercover.